I'm gonna see if I can take the a video for the shop and if I can post it for you so when you come here you have an idea of how this place looks like so here we go in the entry at a water fountain there's something wrong with the water right now but no worries it will be fixed first aid kit right there and that's the eye washer thing if you get chemicals in your eyes which hopefully you won't or pieces of wood uh, the windows here are to the computer room we have five computers and five light tables um, I'm not sure if we're going to use them this uh, COVID uh, adapted model but we'll see and on the top you will see the pictures of legends uh, which we can talk about them later at the snow wood all right so this is our entry to the shop there is a sanitizer bottle by the door which I would like you to wash your hands uh, sorry clean your hands and upon coming in and going out and in between whenever you want so um, a couple of workbenches here and I have space the stools are separate so they're all be measured to ensure social distancing and the goggles here uh, you're not using these anymore during the COVID thing um, because we're not sharing anything so you'll get something individual to wear until the end of the quad master uh, but I didn't move them somehow they make me feel good that someday we'll get back to our previous normal and as you walk in here we that's why i said i'm not worried about the water fountain we had another washing station with soap and paper towel so you can wash your hands as many times as you need during the time you're here and that's the door to the computer room which we are not going to be using as much this quad master so the big machine here is our big bandsaw and uh, it really says on it bandsaw so please try get in the habit of reading things uh, because sometimes people ask me what it is and I say well it's written on it you can read it and it says wood only that bit that with very big font but I've seen people grabbing plastic and going on it so yeah there's a reason for what we do the, these are our main workbenches Again, as you see, the stools you're going to be using are spaced very close to six uh, feet apart. And uh, you're going to be working a lot, so you're really not that uh, in a sitting position. Uh, our blackboards in the back, they're, they're moving back and forth. They're on rollers, so once I get to using those, if I do actually, uh, you'll see how they work. And this is another place. The box on the table, no worries, that was for the grade 10s. And I kept it because they're coming today. All right, the two machines over here are our beautiful table saws, which nines don't really use, but they can see how it's used. And in 10, they start using it. That's our back door exit, which I'm just going to open it so you can see. So we, when we need our brakes to uh, take the masks off and get some fresh air, weather permitting, or leaving, we're just going to go through these exits, and that takes you to the parking lot, and you can just leave from here. Um, coming back here, I'm going to walk around. With This is our sanding station, so we're going to learn how to sand. Uh, with machines, this is also a small belt sander. I need to uncover this. It's another sander that I haven't uncovered since uh, the summer. And our tiny drawers over here that you're gonna see a lot of different accessories, wheels, they can see nails, um, um, caps, and that sort of thing that you're gonna be using. All right, these, this is called our short track, our scrap piece of wood, which are actually useful. So we don't put garbage in here, some people do. But that's not where the garbage goes these are small pieces of different sizes that we actually reuse because it's good uh, and we don't want to waste on top you might see some nice models these are houses or cottages designed by grade tens and they made models uh, we keep them for a while to see if they want to pick it up sometimes they do sometimes they like to take pictures of them for their portfolios and after a while or we use them as exemplars so people can see how to do things and after a while, we just use pieces of them. This is our uh, drum sander, which uh, hopefully you'll be using at some point. And these are the drill presses. So these two drill presses back to back. You can see the drill bits 
right on top and uh, you will be definitely using these machines so the big bandsaw the drill presses the sanders are the main things you're going to be using these two machines over here as you can see they're called the turning machines or the lathes and uh, a, a fascinating job can be done by that so we have two two here in this part of the shop and two all the way in the back anyone coming from Cumber valley middle school uh, the two in the back are from Cumber valley uh, they had to uh, get rid of them and uh, i know the shop teacher there so uh, through the board we made the arrangements and they're here so we have four lays and you're going to be making uh, wooden bowls on them great dines make wooden bowls so basically you turn it you take a square piece of wood and you turn it around like as you see someone is doing and eventually you'll make a nice bowl you can design your own bowl and it's 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 a fascinating machine most people love it a few absolutely hate it but most people love it all right another bandsaw with the middle bandsaw over here um, and this scroll saw you know, well it says there's a long story i won't go through it now but i'll tell you the story later there's tons of stories i have to tell you uh, these are our wooden clamps so sometimes i might tell you go and grab a wooden clamp and here it is uh, this is the miter saw or chop saw you've probably watched some of the videos i was just cutting a piece for a square piece for a student to turn to a lay yesterday and we have another drill press over here with the grinding uh, machine in the back of it this is our glue table we do clamping gluing varnishing staining that kind of stuff on this table you can see the top is sort of like a disaster but believe it or not we i change it uh, not every day but every maybe year uh, which i didn't manage to do last year because we were just out of this place for a long time the machine this blue machine on top of here is actually a shear it's a cutting machine and this other one and you see it's a it's also it's a bender and the other one at the end this blue one is a shear so they're not like just random pieces of stuff they're they're for use do not play with them until you know how to use them because you might just bend your finger or cut your finger on the back you can see this these are four scroll saws so you can see the yellow d wall this is a scroll saw we have four of them and uh, i'm hoping that you will all get the chance to use these things we'll see how it goes uh, another small bandsaw which hasn't been brushed from yesterday i gotta find the kid who didn't do it uh, it was the first day so we're kind of uh, trying to get the most out of it uh, another bandsaw you'll be using with a smaller blade and the other two lays which i told you came from Cumber valley are in the back here these are the two lays a turning machine there's some projects on it from before we went uh, for our long 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 march break uh, starting march 13 2020. all right there are some other machines around this is like a metal band it's not like it's a metal band so we have a metal lay here that uh, higher grades use we have a router table over there that higher grades use and here you can see a bucket uh, full of dowels and we have a lot of more dowels you'll be using so sometimes i might tell you just go get a look in the back bucket that's the back bucket it's in the back of the shop beside the back door and it has dowels in it and if you don't find it here then i'll go take you to this room well not in the room behind the room that says new student allowed and that's my storage area and i'll have more uh, dowels over there now this is our clamp rack and we have tons of clamps and you will be using a lot of clamps here so i hope you see how nicely most of it is nicely in order that's how i would like to see it um, another grinder for sharpening chisels which i use another router our red tool box so sometimes i tell you you ask for something and i tell you it's in the red tool box well this is the only red tool box in the shop so there's some things you gotta get used to where things are there's only one red tool box there's only one gray cabinet there there's one or two close together yellow cabinet and it's easy to find them if they don't ask me where it is well it's yellow or it's red or it's green you you will you will see it 
um, let me see if I'm missing anything. That part over there, all the back, that's some of the lumber, and you see that gray box, that's our dust collector system. You do not turn it on and off on your own. Uh, there's a note on it. Please get in the habit of reading notes, uh, different places, and we'll manage to operate this uh, quite well. So the cupboards over there, they're project cupboards. Kids sometimes put their projects in those cupboards based on grade. Uh, sometimes they put them in small boxes and put them around because they don't want their pieces to go missing or get mixed up with someone else. And I think this year most likely we'll have everything in small boxes so you'll have your projects individually packed. So yesterday, the grade 10s, uh, if you see, you see these boxes over here, they've put their projects in different boxes so they know which box is whose. And there, we have tons of boxes around. If you prefer to bring your box from home, a shoe box or whatever, go ahead. But most likely we'll find a nice box for you and there's no rush to have a box right away. All right, that was my hall pass from last year. Well, we're not gonna be sharing so you guys are not gonna be using that traditional hall pass. You see the brooms up here. People take the brooms for sweeping at the end of the course. Uh, we also have rooms over here and we have brushes and dust pans on top of the yellow cabinet for cleaning up we all have to do our part in cleaning this place um, really workshop safety and uh, is a, a priority and maintenance of the workshop requires everyone to uh, participate and make sure that we put things back in the right place make it clean and keep it clean uh, so everyone will have a great learning opportunity and experience all right i hope this helped and these are your coat hangers and coat racks based on your quad i hope this helps and i'll see you monday